you know, we back with Tales of Arise. Shit, and now we gotta head to, um, we're trying to get to, um, Manigris. So we gotta go to Uzubek, right? Yeah, head to Uzubek. Yeah, let's just fast travel. From Asia. Quest. I'll do that later. I only do that now. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's see. We gotta look for his. Ah, oh, Calaglia. Feels like it's been ages. And wasn't Zephyr with us too? Dad. Hey, chin up. This is your hometown. Oh, uh, do we gotta officially tell everyone what happened? I know they know because I came back and some of them made, made a comment. So they know, but do we gotta address, address it? What is that? Just one thing after another, and it all falls on my head to. Hey, Nath. What? On. Can't you see I'm. Alfin? Oh. Looks so. like you have your hands full. As much as ever. As if I wasn't busy enough putting down the last remnants of Ren and Rule, I'm up to my ears in Dan and disputes. And then, to top it all off, that thing had to come crashing down from out of the sky. Pretty sure we've heard this somewhere before. But enough about my problems. What can I help you with? Yeah, we're looking for an old Renan starship. You wouldn't happen to know any around these parts, would you? A starship? What do you need one of those for? We going up to Lenigus. To get to Lenigus. Lenigus? Are you out of your damn mind? Yeah, a little bit. Just a little. Believe it or not, it wouldn't be the craziest thing we've done recently. Well, yeah, I believe it. Be. it. Well, either way, I'm afraid I haven't heard anything about a starship. Then do you have any historical records by chance? Sure, hey. we've got stacks of old records. Mind if we take a look at them? Yeah, okay. Oh. Thanks, Nath. Oh. Thought it was something else. I read through all of the records, but I only found a single line that might point to what we're looking for. It what? mentions a rock that shot across the sky and landed past the mountains. The event was recorded just before the first Renan invasion. And you think that might be the starship? I don't know. There was nothing else in the records that came even close. It looked like it was someplace called Berg, but maybe I'm reading it wrong. Berg? That ring any bells for you? Yeah, that's one of the biggest volcanoes in Calaglia. I was just there recently, investigating a report of a meteor someone saw. Another meteor in the same area? Really? Oh shit. Someone I wonder else? if it could have been one of those lights that shot out of the wedge. All the more reason to check it out. Can you tell us how to get there? The old Zion mine is up that way. One of the veins we abandoned connects to the volcano. Go ahead and use that. But you should be careful. Huh? What's up there? I don't know if it has anything to do with the meteor, but there's a giant Zugal running riot in there. Never seen anything like it. I could deal with it, most likely. A Zugal, huh? Well, I turned back as soon as I caught sight of the thing, so I can't tell you much more. Just be real careful if you head out that way. When I head out that way. If ands or buts hmm. about it. Hmm? Oh. 
All right. <laughs> hmm? I guess... I didn't like the sound of that monster Nath was talking about one bit. Well, we have to press on. We're going through Zion Mine to Berg Volcano. Let's move. Everyone around here looks so much happier than they used to. I'll say. It feels like an entirely different place. I suppose it's had time to adjust to its newfound freedom. Zephyr would have been so happy to see this. Yeah, he really would have. Especially if he knew Law was... Law? <sighs> Something bothering you, Law? Nah, I... I'll be fine. It's just... you know... <laughs> it still weighs on you, doesn't it? Running away back then. I abandoned my home. Then when I finally come back, it's been liberated. What's important is that it's free. I get that, I do. I just... Uh, I should have been here. Everything okay with Hoodle, Rinwell? He seems kind of out of spirits. It must be the heat getting to him. We don't get these kind of temperatures back in Cislodia. Galaglians born and raised here struggle with it too, so it's no surprise. Aha! So that's why his plumage is so white. He was born in a winter wonderland! Actually, Dan and owls absorb the astral energy of whatever land they're raised in. Where they're born doesn't affect their appearance at all. But that's not why he's white. The real reason is that he's still just a baby. Whoo! You mean their plumage changes color depending on where they grow up? Weird. And with all this traveling we've been doing, it wouldn't surprise me if his wings ended up looking like a colorful painting. I think he suits his snowy complexion. It'll feel strange to see him change. How awesome would it be if his head and wings were different colors, and his stomach and sides like a map of our travels? <laughs> Ow, lay off, will ya? So much for the heat making him docile. You've only yourself to blame for that one. Hoodle takes pride in his appearance, you know. Fascinating. An appreciation of aesthetic beauty in an owlet so young. <laughs> Dohalim, I think you've drawn his attention. <laughs> okay, I do. Alright, so what the... Hmm. This poem is sure to leave an impression. Yeah, let's cook this. More EXP. Hmm. Looks perfect and tastes just as good. All right, it's done. Apologies for the wait, you guys. That's a lot of fish you've cut up again, Kisara. That's because I caught so many earlier. If you're going to eat them, it's best to do it while they're still fresh. Was it difficult slicing up that many fish? No, I'm used to it. It's no big deal for me at this point. I know I probably shouldn't be saying this after all the trouble you went through, but I've never really understood the appeal of sashimi. 
Oh, I'm sorry, Law. I didn't realize. I only make it because it's an easy way to deal with big catches when I fish. You haven't done anything wrong, Kisara. Law, if you don't like the flavor, you're always welcome to add some of my spices to it. Hey, yeah, that might work. I'll just put some of this here. <laughs> What's wrong, Law? I'd never seen someone jump up and sprint off that fast. He ran as soon as he took a bite of that sashimi. Hmm. Was he crying because of the taste? I don't think the sashimi is the problem here, guys. It's the spices. Rinwell, mind if we chat a little? <sighs> What's wrong? You're looking pretty down. Hmm. Something on your mind? Yeah, you could say that. It's just, well, there's something that's been eating away at me for a long, long time. What's going on? Do you mind if I share it with you? Of course not. I'm glad to listen. See, my mom and dad used to tell me I shouldn't go around casting magic. But there was one time I did, behind their backs. And when I did, Almadria showed up. Oh, shit. Huh. I... I hated Almadria for destroying everything I loved. But what I hated most was myself. For breaking my promise to my parents. <laughs> Even though I swore I'd get revenge, there was always this nagging part of me that wondered if I even had any right to do so. Rinwell, it was Almadria who killed your family. Don't torment yourself over one mistake. How can you say that when my mother and father died because of me? This may not comfort you much, but I'll say it anyway. I have a feeling your parents always knew something like that might happen. What do you mean? There was always a chance that someday, someone was going to find you and your family. But even knowing the risks, they still taught you magic. And there are two reasons I can think of for that. First, your talent. Second, they were hedging their bets. Huh? On what? On you, Rinwell. And how you turn out when you grew up. Sure, learning magic may invite danger, but it would have been even more dangerous to live in hiding without being able to defend yourself. They knew what they were getting themselves into when they taught you magic. And I think they did it because of how much they loved you. Because... Because my mother and father loved me. Sorry, I know I shouldn't be putting words into your parents' mouths. No, it's okay. I used to think I would have been better off if I never knew how to use magic. And if I'm really honest with myself, sometimes I still think that. But after traveling around with all of you guys, I've learned that there are things I can do with magic. That there's a point to it after all. So I'm going to keep trying. I'm gonna try and accept it as part of who I am. I want to use it to protect my friends. To protect the future of Dana. Do... Do you think that's selfish of me? Not at all. I wouldn't want it any other way with you, Rinwell. Night, everyone! We've reached our destination. We've got way more animals! I never imagined Law would have a knack for husbandry. Makes sense since they're on the same wavelength. <laughs> You're making me blush over here. Law, maybe you should consider what that statement actually means. Yeah. Alright, no, that's, that's what I think. Is this the way? You don't know the way. Okay. Alright. 
Oh, it's quite hot here. The climate feels different from Menencia's. It's gotten much cooler since leaving town, though. Does that mean eyes were burning holes in us? Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. You just said that about the other area. So we're back in the Zion Mine Tunnels. Who would have thought we'd be going through this place again? This is where you and I first fought together. And also the first time we touched, as I recall. Wait, really? Yes, really. She remembers that shit. First time we touched. Well, I guess she would remember that, you know? You know, yeah, she would remember that because her whole life she's not able to touch nobody. So yeah, she would remember the first time she touched somebody and it didn't hurt them. Man. So, her not being able to touch them, yeah, it's a messed up thing. So this path is supposed to take us out to Berg Volcano? We're not gonna see any lava burst out in front of us or anything, are we? Don't get so paranoid you let a rock fall on your head, Law. reach the inner portion of Berg Volcano. We need to find that starship, and fast! So what's this giant Zugu that's here? Plants grow instantly? <sighs> what if we use this for fruits and vegetables? I'd rather not be our party's fertilizer. Thank you very much. <laughs> I mean, but it's possible, you're saying, right? We seem to have come across something a little unusual. What? Talk about this? 
yourselves. This one's tough. Here I go. Attack. Front. How about this? The green one. The sky is mine. The road is yours. One more. It's a duel of the arts. Take this. Going in. Shattering. SD airborne scoundrel. Sounds like a job for yours truly. An astro art? That's my cue. Shut him down. Come on, Jack. Mega Sonic Thrust. Orochi Fury. Here, let me help. Explosive ring. I owe you one. <laughs> Am I on a roll or what? <laughs> well, look who's in a bright and shiny mood. Okay. An opponent like this should be easy. Right, 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 I'm on! Healing I'm not done! Happy Shadow! No armor! Lurking on me! Remind me to stay on your good side. Go! Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! See that? That training's paying off! Your armor won't save you! No escape! I'm on a roll now! Hold on to your Astral Energy! Say no more! The heavens must be smiling. So, oh. so tear them easily. My face is starting to sting. My throat feels super parched. Here, have some water. Just make sure you don't drink too much. Thanks. You want some Tushia? Oh, wait. I bet you're hungry more than anything, aren't you? I'm fine, thank you very much. <laughs> ah, guess I misread the landing. It'll be a breeze. Get in, get out. How about that? How is Thor? Are those rockets? Win? I'm not getting anything in armor. Oh, yeah. oh. Aim for the weak spot. I'll heal you all. Its defenses are down. I'll beat it to dust. They've they really got us on the ropes. Don't forget to heal your wounds. I'll do it in the next battle. Seriously? Is this a joke? Not on my watch! Dark wing! Their hide is thick as armor! Dark wing! Smash you! We got fire! I got this! Let him fuck it down! All yours! Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! See that? That training's paying off! I'll show you how useful I can be! Do it! I'll stop your movement! And I'll stop your life! My turn! Strike! Arch Shield! I for now! Win! I know it's Dawson! Rising Strike! These fists have got your name on them! Feast of Bone! Shattering the pieces! I'll crush you! <laughs> Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! One deadly strike, just as ordered. to the right. There. Damn, this 
bridge will hold itself together, right? Most can, definitely. Though I won't make any promises. Which one is it? Yes, yeah, seriously. This will make us even more formidable. You could say that again. Oh, yeah, this one. I'm fighting everybody. Let me see. Oh, wait. I just passed it. It's crazy to see rocks melt before our eyes. Watch where you're going, everyone. If you fall, there will be nothing left of you. Exactly. So don't try anything funny. Especially you, Law. No pushing anyone. Not even as a joke. I'm <laughs> not a little kid! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I need change. I didn't know you had that sort of trick up your sleeve, Dohalim. I would have figured rocks and plants would be too different for you to handle both. Not necessarily. Both of them contain Earth astral energy. Luckily for me, this area is rich not only in fire energy, but Earth as well. That monster Nath warned us about, if I had to guess. That looked like Do you the... think this might have been where one of those lights that shot out of the wedge landed? I hope not. But why this location? If the purpose of the wedge is to harvest Dana's astral energy. We can figure that out later. If that 
thing gets into town, it's going to cause chaos. We need to take it down and move on. Let's go! That looked like the shit that was helping out, uh... Balsa. This one's tough, but we have no choice. Let me know if you need healing. What the hell me? Here it comes! Focus! On your toes, everyone! I knew he was about to hit me. What the fuck to do? Suddenly turning tail doesn't seem so ridiculous. Why? Are you scared? Me? <laughs> Why? Are Nobody you, do you even have to ask? Of course I'm scared. Focus up before we become that thing's lunch. Why is nobody is summoning Zoogles? Take care of them while keeping an eye on it. Understood. I'll stop it, Charge. Thanks, Isara. In the group. Here's evil. Oh, he about to attack. Freeze, Lancer. Down. You're ours. Look here I come! Look no, I'm not done! I won't give in! Hurricane Slug! Healing circle! Fire that blow! Oh, there you be, Father. We've all got enough on our plate. Yes, ma'am! Going in! Rising Phoenix! Tectonic Slug! Here I come! I'm not done! By the power of one! Switch off! Let's stop the hook! Mega Sonic Slug! Great shit! We have to decide! 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 Now I can let loose! Come on, I'll crush you! <laughs> Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! I'll heal you! Eat it! We're coming! I'll finish you here! Here! Rising Falcon! Great Lord Spear! Pierce Evil! Strike! I'm on it! Freeze! You're mine! No escape! Armor won't save you! It's no shot! Hunt you left! This one's mine! Let's tear him up! I can carve through one! Tiger blade! No! Well, it's really! Take it down! Inferno! Inferno crossing! Rookie scurry! Severing wind! Make it rain! The blade off! Look sharp! Lightning tiger blade! See that? That training's paying off! Run! Talon hurricane! Time to shine! Healing will shine! Let's keep up the point of snap! Do it! Do it! In an instant! Impact block! Alright! I can't even attack this bitch. Here come more. We'll just have to keep fighting. Yo. These oh, enemies are to me. No complaints here. Do it. How did you do me? In an instant. Impact claw. Shattering pieces. Attack time. Reinforcements incoming. Not Yo, a problem. What the fuck? No, it won't end I'm like this. No, don't leave me all alone. Do it now. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. A new leaf on life. I'm not done. Well, this You're finished. Lion towel. Super swallow. Right Who's that? 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 Who's A 
I thought you more defensively minded. Defense via threat Looks like you changed my life. The best defense. You need to be careful. With the blazing sword and with my sword. She has. Shattering of pieces! Attack! Make it rain! Grimmer! Astral energy! Say no more! Here's a healing arc! First aid! It's about to strike! Look sharp, everyone! That motherfucker hit me and it hurt. And she understood. Everyone alright? We won't surrender. We won't retreat. Not yet. Whatever you do, just please stay safe. I can feel the medicine working. How are we supposed to take on something so big? I'll handle it. Just watch Alvin. and learn. That's enough! Kind of. uh, go back down! What the fuck? One hit kill? How the fuck he pulled that off? Everyone okay? Yeah, I think so. That thing scared the pants off me. It felt like it had a different aura than other Zoogles, didn't it? Yeah. It wasn't like the one that Almadria sicked on us either. Its elemental astral energy variance was out of this world. It was like fighting a lord. I guess it's safe to assume that if it came out of the wedge, it must have played some part in helping harvest astral energy. But what? Perhaps a living spirit vessel? It's plausible, given the location. Or it may be part of a new force dispatched to regain control of Dana. If we assume that monster was one of the four beams of light, we must have prevented something from taking place here. I'd like to think so, knowing how much grief it gave us. But at least with that out of the way, we can keep moving forward now. Let's go. Hey, is that it over there? <laughs> oh shit. Motherfucker. You here? The fuck you doing here? Look at my space pod. That's not even a space pod. That's a straight up spaceship. That's big enough for everybody and then <sighs> We about to head to Lenigus if it's fucking fixed. Alvin? But Did you here, remember something? If it's been here for 300 years. No, but I have seen this starship before. It is yours. This is it. This is the ship I traveled in when I escaped from Lenigus. Should have been here for 300 years. Three centuries later, and it's no worse for wear. I'll take a look at the internals. Damn! I'm amazed it still works at all after all this time. The past meets the present. I really am from a different time and place. Yeah. But you've got us now, Alfin. Not only that, but you've helped out so many people, too. Law's right. Rinwell, too. You're one of us now. No more carrying the weight of history on your shoulders. You're a part of this world. Right. Thanks, you guys. How's it look? 
It should fly. All internal systems seem to be operating. However, considering how long it's remained inactive, I suspect it will take some time before it's ready for takeoff. How much time are we talking here? Starship mechanics are not what I'd call my forte, so I'd rather not hazard a guess. So we've just got to sit around here and wait? I'm terrible at waiting. That's because you're a child. Oh, but how about we use this time to prepare and gather supplies for the trip? Good idea. Who knows when we'll be back from Lenegas once we leave. We should prepare ourselves for every possible scenario before we go. Let's try not to stay away too long. I'd hate for anything to happen to the place while we're gone. Either we race ahead, or we take due precaution to ensure we have no regrets. I shall leave it up to you as to how we proceed, Alfin. Works for me. Isn't it? What is? All this. When we first started this thing, did you ever imagine we'd be going to Lenegas? After all, this is the sort of thing I was rebelling against when I ran away from home, right? I'm sure Zephyr would be proud if he knew what his son was doing right now. And a little shocked, too. We're defying the order of things that have persisted for 300 years. Deep down, I knew our journey would lead to confronting Lenegas. Yeah, you may be, but you're a Renan. The rest of us can barely even picture what it means to leave Dana. No offense to Xion and Dohalim, but it's worth remembering we're heading into enemy territory. No offense taken, and this is no picnic for me either. Remember, our aim is to ensure that both Lenegas and the Renan homeworld leave Dana alone for good. I don't think we'll be able to avoid a fight. Oh, so this ain't Is the there Renan no way homework. we can talk them into leaving us alone? The people of Lenegas? Sure. I mean, we found a way to make it work with Xion and Dohalim, right? And it's not just us. If places like Menencia can do it, then why can't because we- Because there are still many of my kind who believe it was right and natural that Rena reigns over Dana. There are those on Lenegas who have never stepped foot on Dana. I doubt whether they'd even listen to Danans. Look, none of us want to fight. But these are the same people who fired that wedge down on Dana. What happens next is on them. Right. We're not going to sit back and wait for them to oppress us again. Right. Don't forget, there's also a good chance the Red Woman is somewhere on Lenegas. And wherever she is... We should find the Renesalma, too. That's right. If we can take it back, then Xion can finally get rid of her thorns. Xion? Huh? Uh, yeah. Xion go? How could she just go off on her own? She's right there. Let's 
What's going on? Shion. Shion! <laughs> it's your thorns? But why? You okay? Just now, I looked like you used your maiden powers to suppress your thorns. You can really do that? Stay out of my way. What's going on? Wait a second. Are you planning to go alone? Shut up! Why would you do this? I told you to shut up! <sighs> I won't let you. I mean it. I refuse to let you. I won't tell you again. Move or I'll shoot. If that's the case... Then go ahead and shoot me! <laughs> Why well, you wanna go alone? What's going on? Do you remember back when I was stabbed? By Volron? Yeah. I thought for sure that he had killed you back there. That wasn't the first time. Huh? The first time was when I was only a child. After that, no matter how often, I just couldn't die. Couldn't die? So you're immortal? How's that even... <clears throat> I believe you, Xion. But tell me how... How is something like that possible? My thorns. They're me, but at the same time, not. They're part of me. I have no idea why. But my thorns will never let me die. At least not before I'm meant to. You can't die before your death? When my thorns free themselves, it will be my death. The fuck? I've seen it. A darkness that swallows up everything until nothing remains. It's a vision of oblivion I can't escape. I want to believe it's all just a bad dream. But no matter what I tell myself, I... I know it's not. Yeah, but you... Wait, the whole reason you... You needed the Renesalma was to get rid of your thorns, right? If I burn away what's inside, then what will happen to the rest of me? <laughs> right. Either way you look at it, I'm going to die. But if I am going to die, I figure I can at least take my thorns out with me. That's what I've been after this whole time. That's why you turned your back on your fellow Renans and chose to fight with us, isn't it? And while we've all been fighting to keep on living, you have been with us fighting desperately to die. Yeah. That was the plan? You gotta be uh, alternate. But then life. I met all of you. And I. Before I knew it, I didn't want to die anymore. Shion, don't lose hope yet. We'll find a way to save you. There's still time to. It's pointless. 
Why? Because the darkness won't just consume me. The truth is, it will consume all of existence as well. It was only a suspicion at first, but ever since the Red Woman triggered my maiden powers, I've been more certain than ever before. It was then that I finally came to realize my powers were holding my thorns in check the entire time. But they don't anymore. Not since Lenicus, when the wedge fell. Every day, I feel the thorn's power growing stronger inside of me. Pretty soon, I won't be able to hold them back anymore. And when that happens... They will consume all existence. And that's why you wanted to leave by yourself. You planned to find the Renesalma on your own and sacrifice yourself to stop the thorns. But that's... Too much! It's way too much! When this all began, I didn't care what happened to me or anyone else. And what happened to the Renans or the Danans didn't matter to me at all. I know I have to die. But I don't want to. Not now that I have this. I wish we had never met. Then I wouldn't have to feel this way. See on it. Dying is no better than being a slave. How can you endure this? Elfin. It's not fair. I don't care what anybody says. I won't let it happen. We can fight this. We'll fight until the end together. Isn't that what you said to me before? Even if it should mean that it'll be the end of everything else, too? Xion, what do you want? It's your decision, ultimately. But if you decide not to fight fate, I will. Even if I have to do it alone. No. You won't be alone. I'll fight as well. Count me in as well. I want to be a force for good, not hate. And me too. I meant it with all of my heart when I told you before. Neither of you are alone in this at all. You guys. And I, for one, don't believe this venture is without hope. Huh? Xion is the descendant of a maiden from 300 years ago. Given the circumstances, it seems very likely that those events have some connection to her thorns. The true nature of which, I imagine we will discover as we make our way to Lenigus and uncover the truth of what's unfolding here. I take it you mean we might find a way to get rid of her thorns and she'll live? It's certainly possible. Though I suspect the nature of the Sovereign is connected somehow. So be it. I've already lost everything I had once. And I won't let it happen again. Xion. No matter what happens from now on, we're right here with you. All of us are. You are not alone. You guys, you're all so stubborn. Right now, in a little while longer, I just want to hold on to this dream. And 
most of all, more than anything else, I want to be with all of you. So let's go. On to Lenicus.